Thanks for joining us for another On Call for All Kids, a weekly segment that we have here at the hospital where we're talking about timely topics in pediatric healthcare with our experts. Today we have Dr. Rachel Dawkins. She is the medical director of our pediatric and adolescent medicine clinic. And it's so great to have you here because we're talking about a very important topic and that's medicine dosing, dosage. Yes. It's very important that we as parents know what amount to give our children. What do you kind of see here in your clinic as far as parents asking questions? So I get questions almost daily about how much medicine should I give my child? How should I give the medicine? And then in our emergency room and through phone calls we get, we also get questions about, you know, dosing errors and sometimes some problems from dosing errors for medications. Well, today let's talk about the do's and then maybe some of those Definitely. don'ts too. And worst case scenario, what do we do if something yeah. happens or we're worried? So what are some do's, Dr. Dawkins? So do read the label. So every medicine has a label on it and it says exactly how much to give your child and what is actually in the bottle of the medication. Um, so definitely read the labels. That's probably the biggest do. What do those labels typically say? I know usually it says their weight and and that matches up with the amount that they're supposed to get, is that yeah. correct? so all medications for kids are dosed based on weight. So in adults it says take one pill, but in kids it's very important to know how much your child weighs and that really tells us how much medication they should get. So it's really not about age necessarily because no. your six year old could be maybe the size of an eight year old. Correct, so definitely know that. And then if the medication bottle says, you know, kids under two call your doctor, we're used to those phone calls, go ahead and call us and we'll let you know how much to give your child. What about where we should keep our medicine in our house? So most importantly is to keep um, medication stored safely away from where your child can get it. So if it's in a drawer or a cabinet that your child can easily open, that can be a safety concern. So make sure those cabinets are locked, you know, they have the safety locks for kids. You can put those on your cabinets um, up out of the reach of curious toddlers. Okay, perfect. Let's talk about the don'ts. So when we're thinking giving medicine and maybe what do we have readily available in our house? So you're talking about sometimes maybe parents go to a teaspoon or a tablespoon. So we used to often say give a teaspoon of medication and for that that's confusing for parents. One, it's not an accurate way to measure and then you know between these two spoons it's hard to tell which medication is a teaspoon versus a tablespoon. So um, that's important to know. Um, um, so the right way to do it is to use a, a medication um, like maybe a syringe or a measuring cup that has markings on it that can measure liquids. Yeah, that's and, very helpful. Yeah, and your pharmacist can supply you with those. So don't feel like you have to find some sort of special tool. Your pharmacist can give those to you. Oh, that's very nice. Okay, what about don't give medications that contain the, the same active ingredient? What do you mean by that? So. Um, most people don't know that Tylenol and acetaminophen are the same thing. So they may give their child Tylenol and then buy another fever reducer that is generic and says acetaminophen. Those are the same. And so that's an easy way to overdose your child. So make sure to read the label of what those active ingredients are. Okay, never give medicine intended for adults to your child. So that happens sometimes. Yeah, so um, a lot of times, you know, we say, well, if we're giving this adult medicine, maybe if I give a little less, it would be great for the um, baby. So not a good idea we really want to know that the medicines we're giving are intended for children and another good thing to know is that you know cough and cold medicines aren't safe for kids under four so that's another don't is don't give cough or cold medicines to kids under four it's just not safe okay what about aspirin or aspirin containing products should we not do that so that's a never not okay. just a don't but a never so never give aspirin containing products to kids especially um, all the way up to, to teenage years um, because it can cause something called Rye syndrome especially if they have a virus so even though your aspirin container may say baby aspirin, it's a little confusing, never give that to kids. What is Rye syndrome? What is Rye that? syndrome is um, something that happens reaction with, with aspirin, that, um, especially with viral illnesses. It can cause um, you know, some brain damage and some other things that we see. It's not common, but it's just the no aspirin. That's okay. the take home. Okay, stay away from that. Worst case scenario, they got into something, you're a little bit worried, what can you do as a parent? So if your child gets into something, even if it's something like vitamins or something you think might be safe, you can always call poison control. So I would keep that number posted um, somewhere on your house, maybe on your refrigerator, and the number is 1-800-222-1222. Um, okay, again, 1-800-222-1222. You can always call poison control, and worst case scenario. And they're very helpful, um, you know, identifying pills to tell you what to do, to tell you when to worry, and, 
and can be great. Okay, these are great tips, Dr. Dawkins. Thanks. Thank you so much for joining us. If you have any topic ideas you want us to cover or look into, you can just comment below on this video. And if you're just looking for more pediatric health care news, you can visit our website, hopkinsallchildrens.org newsroom, and we will see you next week. Thanks again, yeah. Dr. Thank Dawkins. You. Bye.